Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Q here again with another video. And today, I'm finally going to address how much I paid for my Camaro. So, the Camaro that I have is a 2020 1SS 1LE. And the SS Camaro, it adds the V8, which you can also get on the LT1, which is new for 2020. But the SS, it comes with more features than the uh, LT1. And the 1LE package is the track handling package on the car. And it adds 20 inch wheels, which I don't have on right now. Got on winter tires. It adds uh, magnetic ride control. Got the dual mode exhaust. And a few other features that I have on this car. So I'm going to grab the window sticker. And I'm about to go through that and talk about how much I pay for this car. I honestly haven't looked at it since I bought the car. I just threw it in the glove box and drove home on that dark and snowy night. But uh, let's hop into it. So I'm sitting in the passenger seat. Open the glove box, which is where I threw it. We have here the window sticker. Let's take a look at the options that I have on this car. From the standard equipment all the way, I'm just going to go over to the options. So, there we have the SS 1LE package. Comes with the uh, 20 inch wheels. They're 10 inches wide in the front, 11 inches wide in the back on summer tires. Magnetic ride control, Recaro seats, uh, electronic differential, dual mode exhaust, red calipers, heads up display, spoiler in the back. Got the. Uh, Got the hood wrap and the uh, the satin black. Uh, got the front splitter, suede shift knob. Some are only tires, run flat. Oh, I got run flat tires. And my car also has the PDR, and that's the uh, thing that can record you on track mode. I shot a, a couple of my videos with the PDR. Got the Got the carbon fiber gas cap and the PDR is somewhere up there. I'm not sure if I can see it from the camera, but it's where it's behind the rear view mirror. So the track package on here, the 1LE package was $7,000. PDR is $1,300. The color on this car is a shock. It's like a greenish yellow, like a highlighter. That was $395. I have a black fuel door with exposed carbon fiber. That was $280. All weather cargo map, $155. Got wheel locks, $95. And a $70 cargo net that I did not need or want. So that's all the options I do have on the car. So let's see what the base price for this car is. $37,000. Let's see. I have $9,295 worth of options on here. A bulk of that being the 1LE package. And other than that, I had like $2,000 worth of real options, you can say. So the sticker price on this car ended up costing $47,290. Here's that all weather mat came with the car it just says Camaro on it and it's rubber what's under here is just I don't know I never looked under here before a kit of some sort some module and here's that expensive cargo net like man I wouldn't pay what was that $70 they lost their minds for this little net $70 just for this I'll probably never use it all right, so that's all the filming I'm going to do in the car. I'll meet you all back at my house. And I'm back. So let's talk what the Camaro cost. So the MSRP of the car was $4,790. What? And I received a supplier discount. Could have gotten the regular employee discount, but... I'm going to show you why I got the supplier discount. And the supplier discount was 
$3,633.61. So I chose the supplier discount as opposed to the GM discount because the supplier discount, I'm able to get the Mustang Conquest. They don't do the Mustang Conquest for GM employees because they believe a GM employee should not own the Mustang. Therefore, that rebate was invalid. I did get the Mustang Conquest rebate, which was $2,000. I got the customer cash rebate, which was $500. I got a Chevy Select market rebate, which was $1,000. So I got a total of $3,500 in rebates. So with the employee discount and the rebates, my total for the Camaro came to $40,156.39. I had a few miscellaneous fees as well. The $24 taxable fee, $37 non-tax fee. Don't know what either of those are. I assume one of them are like for the transferring of my title. There's a dealer dock fee of $220, and the big number was the taxes, which equal to be $2,334.02. So the bottom line for the car would have been $42,771.41 if I did not trade in the Mustang. And that would have been a great price for the car. $5,000 off MSRP. And that includes taxes and everything. So this number might be a little bit off because I'm going off the total price. Like I said, I have to account for the negative equity that I have with the Mustang. So the negative equity of my Mustang added an extra $8,150. So adding the $8,150 to the $42,771.41 we get the grand total of $50,921.41. And that's what I walked out the dealership paying for the Camaro. That would be very close to paying MSRP plus taxes. So how much per month does it cost to finance this? And I know the finance people are gonna get really mad at me about this part because they believe in putting money down so they won't be upside down on the the equity so they have some kind of equity in the car but i chose to finance the whole thing fifty thousand dollars for the car and i'm financing that for 83 months at 3.49 percent interest and that comes up to about 697 dollars per month dave ramsey would have a fit he would probably pass out or just want to slap me. Other people will too. But this is the point where I feel that you should go for what you want. Life is a treasure. I, I believe that you should have nice things with, with them means. And I, I just don't believe in putting money down on cars. I don't do that because I like to have liquidity. I can invest that money elsewhere as opposed to tying that up in a car. Something that's going to lose money even more money. It's not going to gain me money. I can save the cash that I have and put that into real estate, the stock market, 401ks, or other streams of income. Should you finance a car for this long? I don't know. It's up to you. Your personal choice. I did it. And I'm completely satisfied with it. Uh, I can comfortably do that. And I could have got a cheaper rate. I could have got 2.99% at 60 months, but I wasn't happy with that payment. A 60 month payment would have been like around 850 a month I believe with the lower interest rate 72 months would have been about 790 something I chose 83 months because I got the same interest rate as a 72 month loan 84 and above it just the interest rate skyrockets and I don't like to finance a car this long but for the way I handle cars this is the way for me. I drive them short term, then I trade them in for something else. I use the rebates to my advantage. So as far as insurance, I pay about one forty-eight per month for it, full coverage. I have gap coverage on that. I got uh, like up to five hundred thousand dollars for liability. I think like three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand dollars for liability costs. And the the company I'm going through is Westfield Insurance. I never heard of them before, but I Googled them. They have a, a good reputation. 
and uh, I go through an insurance broker. I shop my insurance every year, whoever has the cheapest deal. Before this, I had Progressive. Before that, I had Liberty Mutual. So your insurance costs will vary. Mine is actually very expensive because I'm in Michigan. We have one of the highest insurance rates. Actually, we have the highest insurance rates in the comp in the country. So I'm pretty sure wherever you are, your insurance will definitely be cheaper if you're like me. But I'm I'm over 25. I'm actually 33. Clean driving record, no accidents, no tickets. So I'm spotless, perfect driver. So I get the best rates here. And I'm pretty sure it'll be much cheaper in another state. All right, so that, folks, is what I paid for my 2020 Camaro SS1 LE. Yes, it's an expensive car. Yes, I'm financing it. But it makes me happy. I think people get so caught up in the numbers of, like, oh, I just need to save everything. They don't really enjoy life. And they, they'll spend the next 20 years saving up for something, and they might not even make it 20 years. So I think it's really important to, to live out your dreams and do what you enjoy. So I'm doing that right now. Who's to say I'll be here 20 years from now when I can actually save up for the car and buy it cash? Or however long it might take me. I'm not waiting that long. I'm going to enjoy it now within reason. Of course, if you can't really afford the payments, then definitely don't do it. That's that's just not wise at all. But I can I can swing the payments comfortably. And I'm thankful for that. And I get to enjoy a car. It makes me just happy. Happy to have the car. Happy driving the car. No regrets at all. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, browse the channel. If you have any more questions about the car, please let me know. And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace out.